Hi everybody, this is Aarti here from One Little Dreamer. Today I'm here to share a project with you guys. I know it's been a really long time since I um, made something or actually crafted. And last weekend I was feeling a little under the weather so I decided to, um, you know, I didn't feel like doing any of the regular things like packing my orders or, you know, doing things around the house so I decided to get my craft on. And I had all my friends sitting with me on Skype and crafting. So I was like, oh, I need to make something too. So, ta-da! Here is the box that I altered. I made an altered box. And I can't seem to get the whole thing into the frame. But you guys, I'll, I'll post a picture of it on... Um, I did post a picture on it uh, of it on Facebook. And I'm, I'll put, put pictures, if I can, I will put pictures at the end of this video. I'm still not sure about how to edit videos from um, this particular camera. So I will probably, I'll try and, uh, you know, put pictures at the end. So here, this was um, just a plain wooden box that I got from, um, from Michaels. And let me show you what I did to it. I... The first thing I did was I painted the whole box into a cream color and the paint that I used is called Antique Parchment by Apple Barrel, Apple Barrel by Plaid. So I love, love, love that color and I think it, I got it from Walmart or from Michaels but I know they're available in both and it's a really, really pretty color. So then, and I wanted to do something in a cream and a white or you know cream and white so I painted that up as a base I painted the entire box because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do when I started off and then the only thing I knew was that I wanted a soft topped box in case I want to put you know stick pins or something on the top so what I did was I covered this with um, I covered the top of the box after the paint had dried I used um, you know the quilting cotton that you get you get um, like a whole uh, roll of it it's called poly poly cotton or something like that but you guys know what I'm talking about the stuff that they fill poly fill I think it's is what it's called it, it they use it to fill um, in between the layers of your quilts so that or your comforters so that's what I um, you know put a lay up uh, I cut a square a rectangular shape and I pasted that on I glue gunned it down and then I put um, some plain, I, I used a, a slightly shiny fabric to cover the top because it's like cotton and it, you know, you can just see through this and you can f touch it. So I put um, a shiny satiny fabric on top of that and then I covered it with this lace and this is, uh, this was very sheer lace that I got from Joann's and, you, you know, it was it was not very expensive it was i got a half a yard of it for maybe a dollar or two dollars and it was a nice soft um, cream colored lace and then i used i actually used some items from my store for this box um this was i i pasted this applique on actually before i pasted the applique what i did was i put some lace behind this applique this trim because this trim is totally sheer and I didn't want to have the wood showing beneath this. So what I did was I used uh, some thin white, um, the same lace as the one that I'm using at the bottom over here. The same lace, I, I pasted it all, I glued it down and then I put this. And, and you know, the, uh, the other cool thing that um, that lace did was that it holds up holes inside any of the um, the cotton that was peeking through from the sides after I had glued the, the top down and the uh, rough edges of this lace and the fabric below it they were all around the edge so that all got secured in with that lace and then I put this applique this applique is from the applique the applique lace that I sell in the store and it comes um, you know you get I sell it by the yard and this is what um, it actually looks like this is 
what the applique lace looks like. I'm sure many of you have seen it in my store and some of you have actually even purchased it. You get four big, um, you know, four appliques of this size in a yard. So, and each of each applique piece has these two flowers and all the leaves with the netting and all of that. So, this was just the plain applique that I put on top. And then, I am in love with this beaded trim. This is also something that I got, um, that I have in my store. And let me show you what it looks like. This is what the lace looks like. And you can see how sheer it is. So, if I just you know put this on the box directly you could have seen everything that was under uh, under it e even the cream colored uh, wood so this this is so pretty and I love the fact that you can cut the flowers out and the leaves out separately and that's what I did I you know I cut the flowers out and I used them as centers for this big applique and this one and then I used the little leaves that were left over for you know just giving a little dimension and a little bit of um, oomph to the top of the box. So as you can see this is my favorite you know my current favorite lace so I um, used a lot of it actually not a lot probably about a yard of it on this box so I went around the entire box box top it was just the right width so I went around the entire box top and I just glued this this is the pearl drop trim I glued it all around the top of the box and then what I did was um, at the bottom I wanted to use some of these big shabby flowers I also have these in my store and you know many of you know that I do sell them this is the big shabbies by the yard so I used the white the first thing I did was I um, glued down this lace at the bottom and then I went around the box with the shabbies. I didn't even cut them or trim them or anything. I just, you know, glued it down and you can see the netting everywhere, which is fine. It just makes it look a little more shabby. And then for the centers, initially I was thinking of using, you know, the buckles with the pearls as the centers, but then they didn't match. They were too shiny for the rest of the box. So what I did was I just cut up this. I had like a little strip left at the end of the yard when I uh, was done, you know, going around the box so I just pulled out all the flowers from it and stuck it at the center and I really like how that looks it it gives a pretty looking center without you know making it look um, too shiny or crass and then I just add a little pearls at the bottom oh yeah and this is my favorite part of it I, I love things that dangle so I um, used a little piece of the leftover trim to you know create a little opening over here and then where this you know this was one ugly piece of uh, it was this bronze colored um, little thing so what I did was I just went ahead and stuck a little pearl at the opening so that you know it matches the rest of the box and that ugly bronze thing doesn't show and then I also did the inside and oh my god you guys the inside took longer than the outside it took forever and it was such a pain to get my glue gun into the corners that I, I, I mean by the end of it I was wondering what made me start so next time I'm just gonna leave it you know plain I'm just gonna paint it and leave it so this is what this is the cream color of the of the paint you can see it on the inside anyway so here is what I did I created a little pocket there you can see the pocket that I created I used um, just a plain ivory um, shabby flower I trimmed it and you know just put a little pearl and then on the inside you can see over here I used my ruffle trim the ruffle per the ruffle trim which comes with the little pearl beads and this is what it looks like I used the ivory colored one. I did the entire inside in ivory so I used this. I just glued it down um, along the inside and this is the two row pearl. You can actually see it kept over there. That That's the the ribbed pearl that I have in my store. That's what I used um, to go over the lace. And on the inside this is just you know the plain box and covered with uh, I just stuck the lace on top of it and then this um, I folded it at the back 
and just to give it a little strength you guys can see over here that I used a little piece of um, cardstock so I glued the lace onto the cardstock and then the cardstock onto the um, onto the back so that it wouldn't you know in case I yank it by mistake it wouldn't get ripped out so that's what I did and this lace Many of you guys have asked me about it and you've seen it in many of the kits that, uh, my, many of the design team kits. This is this huge lace. Oh, let me get it the right side up. This is this huge lace. It's it's almost the size of my hand. I think it's four inches wide. And many of you asked me about it, um, you know, when you guys saw it in the kit. I don't have this in my store. This is from my personal stash. So I used um, this to create the pocket. I just folded it in half at the bottom. I folded it in half and, and glued it down so that the pocket would have a little bit of an opening. And then, at the bottom, what I did was, I covered this with lace and then I used, this is a lace from Emma's store. She sent me a huge pile of it, so I had to use it and it was so pretty. Um, I'll show you guys in a minute. And this was, uh, I glued that and created a skirt at the inside and then I used this. This is one of the current favorites from my store and this is the big rhinestone and pearl trim and this I, if you guys haven't seen it this is what it looks like that it comes in two yard pieces and this is what I used um, on the inside of the box I went around the entire inside of the box and covered it um, with that lace and that is what I did I, I just left the bottom of the box plain because I'm not sure whether I want to put uh, feet at the bottom or whether I just want to stamp my name over here or what but I decided to just leave it plain for now so that it doesn't get dirty I hate it when you know the bottom of a box is covered with um, with velvet or with um, felt or something and then whenever I keep it somewhere you know after a while that white velvet or the white felt will start looking dirty and you can't wash it or clean it so I decided that I'd just leave it painted and plain. So this is my box and um, I hope you guys liked it. Oh yeah, let me show you um, Emma's lace. This is the lace that I use from Emma's store. I think her store is called M's Emporium and I'll put a link if, if you guys want to ha get a piece of this lace. You'll have to contact her and I will put the link to her store at the bottom of, um, you know, in the description box and all of that. I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at my box as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, see you guys later. Bye.